What's up, YouTubers? Jurassic Ninja here. Got another Jurassic Ninja's thoughts. Uh, today we're going to be doing uh, some Prisoner Architect. I uh, played this game for a little bit, and I gotta say, I mean, it was pretty addicting and really fun. Um, but I just wanted to share some thoughts about it. You know, you, well, this is sandbox mode, right? So you could choose, you could do a campaign, or you could do sandbox mode. So I, I like to do sandbox mode where you start with nothing, and you just get to create your prison, right? You can pause time because, which you want to do because right over here, 23 hours and 12 minutes until eight prisoners come in. But I have eight prisoners coming and I have nothing, right? So basically, if I press play, each minute is one second. So I like to pause it to get my, you know, my shit together. So one thing I always start off with is like a road. So, you know, you get your road and then you got to build you know your buildings and stuff right so you got to make sure that you have enough for nine prisoners or eight sorry right away and what's really crazy is after this initial 24 hours you're going to get an even more prisoners coming in another 24 hours so you got to keep up with everything and it's not just prisoners you have to keep up with you got to feed them in the rooms you got to you have to make a kitchen big enough to feed all these new guys coming in all the time you got a canteen where they eat and you got to build benches and chairs and all this stuff enough for all these new prisoners that keep coming but you have a certain amount of funds uh you know so you got to be careful you have to hire staff a, you know you have to hire guards and a warden and you have to build offices for them it's pretty intense so one thing you got to keep in mind is that it re see all these things say requires entrance so this will be my gel facility. So you have to go to objects, right? And you want to build gel doors. Now, one tricky thing with these gel doors is that you need guards to open them, even for this staff, these guys, these workers. So if you need to have them build stuff inside, you need guards to open the doors. Or you can click it and have it op you know, left open while they're building and stuff. But here's something like this here is going to be where my prisoners eat, right? I want them to go in and out as, as they please. So I'm just going to put a normal door. This is the kitchen on the left side. Now, I want a staff door. You got to make sure you build your doors. Because to, to, to build a gel cell, the prereqs are you need a bed and a toilet. Okay? A bed and a toilet. And that is the minimum space required for your cell. After that, I just rinse and repeat. Yes! I got my gel cells, right? And if you just just start this game without any prior knowledge of how to play like I did, it takes a while to figure things out. A lot of Googling and YouTubing. I skipped the campaign where it tells you how to do all that crap. So you think you're done. You know, once your workers are done with the stuff, you're wrong. So something that's really cool is kind of like where it's like The Sims. You have to build a power plant like and, and water stuff, right? So you have to go down to your utilities and you need to build a power station and you need a water pump because you need water and electricity, right? So then you gotta get your electrical cable, which, you know, the water pump needs power. And then these buildings need power. So you're gonna run your cable all the way across, and then you need pipes. Now this part I got really confused about when I was first building. I was always building the small pipes, but they, are, they don't supply enough water. So it's like, it's like legit like that. So you gotta get, you gotta run your big old fat pipes. Well, don't quote me on this, but after that you gotta make sure you got pipes going to your toilets. Woo! Okay, so I got all of that going, right? But that's not even all of it yet. So if you you need the prisoners and your staff to know that these are jail cells, so you have to claim the space, right? So you got to go down to here to rooms and you click in your cell. You know, it tells you each one tells you what you need, which is really cool and helpful. So you just gotta make sure you you identify that every one of these are jail cells. So when the prisoners come. The guards put them in there, and I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so, and then you get, you know, once your time runs out on your initial uh, time for the prisoners, once that time runs out, you get your first prisoners, but then, check it out. Boom! Immediately in 24 more hours, you have eight more coming, so you got to be ready for that. Now, they're coming in their little car up here, and I don't have any guards to take them in, so they're just going to stand there. So I got to hire some guards, right? That's really cool. So, you know, you hire your little guards. So this game's really fun. It's so cool because you get to build and manage a prison. 
and there's just so much to it. Like you, you build a, a, you can build a yard for them so they have a place to work out and hang out. And they'll tell you everything too. Like you can zoom in on these guys. So you zoom in on these guys and you get like information about each one and sentenced to 19 years for aggravated burglary that that's cool you can search his cell you can punish him you can piss off your prisoners by locking them down all kinds of cool things that you could do i mean there's there's riots this force open. oh we got an escapee they're gonna they're going oh no they escaped get him shit everyone's escaping oh shit they're escaping lock that shit <laughs> So then everyone can escape from prison if you're not careful. Like, I force, forcefully opened the door, um, and I didn't have any wall protection. I was curious to see what happened, and they, 13 escapes today. Holy cow. Oh, and then you get riots like this. Oh, no. Oh, no, the cop's beating him up. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's unconscious. Oh, shit. He's dead. And then you, oh, injured. There's so much stuff that happens in this game that you gotta be prepared for that I'm totally not prepared for any of this oh man he's injured I don't have any hospitals I don't have anywhere to put a dead guy that's I mean I purposely tried to get this to happen but it has happened to me when I'm seriously trying to play this game you know this stuff happens and you need to be prepared for all of this crazy stuff and this look at this dude just taking a shower probably to wipe all this blood around this dude oh man so anyway I just want to talk a little bit about Prisoner, uh, Prison Architect. It's a super fun little sim game where you got to build a prison. Um, I mean, you can build really huge prisons and get really intricate with your designs and stuff. It's really cool. Um, just be prepared for all these new inmates coming in all the time. Um, I recommend the game. It's super fun, super addictive little sim game. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.